Did you change the game plan defensively after Miller went down with his injury? Went down with his injury? Like he went, you know, he, he, he went down. out for a play, right? Right. Did you feel like he was neutralized as a runner a little bit after that? No, I thought he was fine. Okay. And he came right back in on play later. Brad, what happened on some of those long touchdown passes where there, there wasn't really guys around the receivers? Yeah. Um, you know, some of the depth of the coverage and, and listen, when those routes get that deep and that long, like you've got to affect the quarterback. Um, and, you know, when you've got a dynamic runner like that, you try to you try to spy him, you know, but you got to be able to move him off his spot before the, the spy can go hunt him. And we were able to move him off his spot. You know, we were successful in some of those third downs, but most times, he was able to stay there, and then the spy was a little bit neutralized because, you know, you know, if you trigger too quick one side, he gets out, you know, um, and, you know, and then, you know, coverage-wise in the back end, we got to play with some more depth. We talked about it. We knew what kind of routes we we're going to get, especially at those down in distances. Um, you know, we jumped some stuff that was put in the front of our face and let some, some other ones go over the top of us. Brad, they had given up 37 sacks this year. What wasn't working in the pass rush for you all to get to him? Um, you know, probably a little bit of everything. You know, the, you know call, you know, may, could have done some things to, you know, maybe created even more one-on-ones. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. It's hard. They have a lot of different weapons. You know, we're trying to... Um, trying to help a lot of different guys. You know, you got some some new guys out there, some younger guys in the back end, and so when you try to uh, help them, you know, it's a little bit less what you can do up front, um, especially when you have a, a mobile quarterback. And so um, there's probably a little bit on everything. You know, play calls. You know, some guys probably thought they, you know, get some one on ones that they can win, um, but. Ultimately, just not good enough. The third down has kind of been a problem that won't go away. Do you have to try to think a different strategy to that and moving forward the final two games? Yeah, it's something we just have to continue to look at. You know, and it's it's a little. You know, we tried it a little bit. Of everything we tried zone, we tried man. We, you know, we we brought the house on the last touchdown. Pass that, that got thrown, or the scramble that got it down inside when Simpson was at quarterback. Um, you know, ultimately, you know, we just got to try to find the right mixture, and uh, I'm not doing a good enough job of, you know, finding that mixture, and that's on me. Brad, obviously, you know, eight four can be a lot better than seven and five or six and six. So how do you just kind of regain the team a little bit? Just focus on these last two games and, and try to finish strong. Yeah, we understand that we're, hey, listen, we've got a lot to play for. And we've got a, a prideful group. Uh, we've got a prideful coaching staff that, you know, hey, listen, this stinks, this hurts. You know, you, you never like to have these performances. Um, but the, the, if there is a silver lining, the fact is that you don't have to sit on this one all off season. You know, we've been lucky enough and afforded enough to have three more opportunities. And, you know, it starts with next week. And so we've got to make the corrections, uh, you know, heal up and, and get ready for next week. Two more guys and we got to get in with the families. Anybody? Good. Good. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.